Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. I am so grateful for you all. I'm grateful for every single one of you. Today we are going to make work on the lily stitch. Is it the lily stitch or is it the tulip stitch? I think it's the tulip stitch. So it's a really easy one row repeat. And you want to make a multiples. Now I have this double because I'm making a shawl, but you can just use one piece of yarn. That's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and make my slip knot. You want to make multiples of four plus two. So you can count it out just like that. You can go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Four and just keep going from there. I'm going to make some more chains. I'm going to have a multiples of four plus two. So when you get to the total number that you want, you want to add an additional two chains for that. And I'll be back. Okay, so I have 24 chains here. I'm going to add two more chains. That is our turning chain there. So now we can continue on. So you're going to skip that first chain. Remember, as always, that loop on your hook does not count. And then skip that first chain and go into your next chain with a single crochet. And we're just making our foundation row. Now, um, I'm going to begin making it a habit of going into the back bumps. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But if you want to do that, skip that first stitch. And go right into that next stitch in the back bump with a single crochet. And you're going to make one single crochet all the way across. When you come to the end of the row, you should have 25 single crochets back. Okay, so I have my five single crochets here. Now let's go ahead and start our pattern. So you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now go into that very first stitch. Remember that loop does not count as a stitch. Go into your next stitch with a single crochet. Now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And in that same stitch where you put your single crochet, you're going to make three double crochets. So that's one. Two. And for my beginners to make a double crochet, yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull up your loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we have those three double crochets into that same stitch as that single crochet. Remember when you make the single crochet, chain three and then make your three double crochets in that same stitch. Now we're going to continue. So now you're going to skip three stitches, one, three single crochets, one, two, three. And then the next one, go ahead and make another single crochet. Then chain three again. And just like over here in the beginning, go back into that stitch with three double crochets. So that is your repeat all the way across. You're going to skip three once you've made your three double crochets. Do not chain. Skip three. One, two, three. Go into the next stitch with a single crochet. Chain three, two, three. And then back into that same stitch where you placed your single crochet. You're going to make three double crochets. Okay, so that is your repeat all the way across, and it's already looking so pretty. Okay, so now we're at the end of the row, and I have four stitches left, so I'm going to skip those three, and then make a single crochet into my last 
single crochet from the previous row. And that is your first row. Now let's move on to the next row. This is not the repeat row. The next row is your repeat row. So go ahead and chain one and turn your work. Make your single crochet into that first stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Yarn over, go back into that same stitch with three double crochets. That's two. And this is three. Now, moving over to the next section, we're going to skip those three double crochets that you made in the previous row. And you have your chain three here. So, don't chain. Just take your hook and go right into the top of that three chain space from your previous row, right into the top there, and then chain three. And now in that chain space where you made your chain three, you're gonna make your three double crochets. Okay. Now again, do not chain, just go right over to that three chain from the previous row, go right into that first chain and make your single crochet, chain three, and back into, into that three chain space, you're going to make your three double crochets. And just repeat that all the way across. So now I've made my last one here. Now I'm just going to go right into that three chain space into that top chain there and make a single crochet. And that's how you finish off your row. Okay. She looks like. Let's see a little bit closer. So, I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I no longer use TikTok at Camtai Hair Bade Crochet. Have a great, great, awesome day. Bye-bye.